Perfect fairways and like carpets, 126, gap wedge. So look, it's got some spin on it. Nicely done. Rolling putting surfaces, aren't there? Little areas to put the flags. Come on, get a photo. Goggles on. Shots Tommy Fleetwood for his eagle at the 11th. Up and over the hill. Nicely judged. Look at the shadow from the ball. <laughs> it's a brilliant place to start the season here in the Middle East. The weather's perfect, the courses are lovely. Great tests of golf. Just over 200 yards. Will he take dead aim? Started down the right. All right. And then they ask, are you ready to go? Of course, knowledge. Yeah, kind of. these players but not this morning 250 mark would be fine it'd be a pitch from there but cuts through a bunkers down the right to carry so just the iron for Fleetwood to a pretty generous fairway with this club <coughs> doesn't like it it's pulled it a bit and that's why it's just going to run off the fairway in the lap of the gods for the lie it seems to be a good one this doesn't look too inviting. Tommy Fleetwood's here. Yeah, it is, Ken. I just can't see anything. 132 yards, ball sitting right up on top. You just oh, 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 you know, you've got a short oh, time, you want to sit down a little bit. Oh. The difficulty is the flag's right at the back, and he can't see it. He's trying to gauge the depth of this shot. This is a little fiddly. It's a far down. Grip has gone there just to compensate for the ball being above his feet. 
a good shot. Tricky shot, he just don't want to be too aggressive in that scenario, Jamie. for Fleetwood. There's a lot more room on the right than it looks, but it's sort of that bunker that frames this hole that Ken was talking about, sort of drags you over that way. But it's a poor tee shot to miss this fairway, to be honest with you. Beauty called by the caddy. It's obviously perfect. Caddies never get it wrong. Wonderful setup, great balance. It's quite a curtailed follow through, but it just releases it at the bottom. Oh, he doesn't like it, it's left, I think. Not that it's just come up a bit short, but it's a, you can see the slope in front of him, it's going to be a difficult putt. Right to left for Fleetwood, same line. Can he get it there? Slow up that hill. tee shot but when that wind picks up it sort of throws a lot of players way right and that makes the second shot longer to a very narrow green cut close to the water so you've got to get the ball on the fairway here just an iron for Fleetwood and a low driller the Tiger Woods calls this stinger shot Yeah, it went about 290, didn't it? It's quite a nice shot to have that with an iron. Fleetwood, 149 yards. Should be a 9 iron. It's a slight down slope. I think it helps the wind slightly in off the left here. Will be a factor for Tommy, but I think this lie being downhill helps with the trajectory. This goes out lower. Great opportunity here with this front pin. That gets at the back. Ooh, it's a tough one. Sweet with a lovely noise of the cush and a well trained ball, but it's a big bank that did miles right that run down close to the hole. Just inside the hole, Kenny. Just inside the left. Quite from Fleetwood. Caught a lot the hole. Isn't unlucky. Well, it's always nice in a hole like this when your playing partner does that. It gives you a really good idea because Tommy, I know, in terms of distance, Peter's probably a little bit longer than Fleetwood, which will help him. Familiar cut off, so i not follow through. Oh, this is going to be good. No, it's really picked up speed, but it's still going to be very good. Oh, no, missed it. I had a lot of spin, of top spin on it. Difficult pin, this 17. Didn't look that difficult, actually, from a bit further back, but when you get here, it's just at the bottom of a slope, so tough to get it close. Now, Fleetwood just ran on a 10 feet more than he'd like. And not the right, but a right to left on it. Hit some nice putts this morning, not much gone in. If you want to have a go at it, you've got to go down the left. And that's dangerous with the water there, sneaking in on the left-hand side as well. So really tough tee shot if you want to have a go at it in too. Is there help in the air, Jamie? Just a little bit, down off the left, a touch. Second shot will be in too. Another good drive, drive for Tommy Fleetwood. Fleetwood having a crack at it. Long way back. No, it's not going left, is it? It's looking left. Sure. 
the degraded ice plants over there. Dan Fleetwood from the perfect spot, just about a 60 yarder. Should go in nice and low, bit of grab. Nicely played, just a bit of breeze to hold the ball into. Good chance here, Jamie, for a birdie for Fleetwood. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Must make, really, for Fleetwood here. On 18. Played the hole well. Down 34, couple of birdies, all the rest pars. Played a little bit better than that, as Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, straightforward hole this yeah. first. Yeah, driver, there's plenty of room left. There's bunkers down the right. They can catch you out, but really just open your shoulders and rip it. Yeah, it's definitely freshening, so I can feel it now. Toes past the bunker. So the contrast to Fleetwood and Peters, they're just pitching 94 yards for Fleetwood. Two beautiful lies. Now they mow the fairways, just growing back into them, slightly into the groin, just have to be a little bit firmer at the point of impact to get the strike. as well just a bit of left to right for Fleetwood I don't think you'll leave the hole unless it's a dribbler <laughs> feels like they've all been over reading them today boys yeah, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle huh? Tommy said a few plucks that I think he's thought have got a chance to go in, but uh, not many have. He's got a lovely approach to the game, Tommy Fleetwood. Just plays like Bernard Langer, just plays the shot and moves on. <laughs> never seems to... Tom, Tommy might open up on this one. He's it very straight. I might give this the full treatment. Coming out of a rifle, that one. Beautiful tee shot. Actually flew it five yards further than Peter's, but Peter's got just a little bit more run out. Left is a no-go. There's a huge swale down the left-hand side. Difficult up and down from there. Plenty of room right at the pin. Not the widest green, is it? No, it's not, but it's reachable. I mean, it, normally when there's no wind, there are any hitting irons in here, so it needs to have some protection. This hole, and it is the green complex itself. It's humps and hollows everywhere, so important to get this in the right portion. Got to be right at this pin, I feel, today. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be good, actually. He's able to keep that down. Down the hill, see how fast that putt was. So the poor third shot to hit it up there right, from where he was. Tommy Fleetwood. Very nicely played. Lovely putt. Yeah, the second bunker on the left-hand side is 280 to reach. It's a pretty good hit today into this wind. It's virtually straight into them, maybe a bit off the left. But uh, a big up wide fairway to the right-hand side. So driver for Tommy. Yep, no problem. <laughs> Always been a good driver of the ball to flick with. I'd say on the right-hand side, it's on the fairway. Played with him at Thornby Hall years ago when he just came out on tour. His driving was so impressive. Tommy looks very relaxed. 
It's at ease in himself. And playing within himself as well today. It's okay. Maybe be a bit more aggressive. Nice bank just right at the pin to bring him off. So, but he's left himself a tough one here at Fleetwood. Quite a steep bank and he's sort of punning along a ridge as well. So this is not an easy two punt after that seven iron. Come up ten yards short. Two twelve six iron for Fleetwood. Trying to hit the down slope, chase it down to this right. pin. Just like that. Got like Cooper there, just like that. Very nice. Here a weekend. <laughs> now I'm going to give Tommy this straight in. Maybe left half. Straight in. Don't let me down, Tom. He won't. Yes. Well done, Jimmy. Fifth hole. Pretty straight. Wind in off the right hand side. Mostly across actually for Fleetwood. He's driven the ball brilliantly. He's got that driver back. So if he missed the middle of the fairway, it's a great asset to him. Fleetwood can't see the pin. Tucked away over there right behind the bank. 146 yards to go. It's pretty amazing. Fleetwood, like Lowry, hasn't missed a green today. And both are 100%. Not often that happens. Pretty big greens here. But the whole locations oftentimes force you to miss a green being aggressive. Uphill for Fleetwood. Bit off the right. This hole is cut a sort of valley between two <coughs> moles in the green. It's an easy one here for Fleetwood to save his par. Hold it nicely. Break from left to right. Four birdies, ten pars, four under. Yeah, 468, this sixth hole. Gone barrel straight, this hole. One of the narrow fairways on this golf course. It's brilliant, yes, links. And he has a Mr. B off the tee, Fleetwood. He is flushed every time, right down the centre of the fairway. Incredible, he's effortless, effortless as well. Yeah. Yeah. Not Mr. Nice. Green either. Yeah, great position to attack this right-hand pin from 175. It's a little clip of the seven. Just a little one as well. And that was an eight, I think. The only danger here is going long, really. I think Tommy was mindful of that. Yeah. Good chance of forward. So right to left, up uh, the green. Quite an easy read, this. Yeah, easily reachable this par five today. Great win for this hole down off the right. So you can really open the shoulders. Big wide fairway. He hasn't missed the middle of the fairway, Fleetwood. There you go. Got all the words, Ken. Got all the words. It's a great rhythm all day, isn't it, Jamie? Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. It's always been his number shot. one strength, yeah. Fleetwood, the driver, just puts himself in great position. I think he lost it for a few years, trying to get maybe a little bit longer, but he's back. 
from the left hand side 277 240 the front and on his line there's a bunker 25 yards short of this green so you've just got to carry that in you chase down the hill down the green got the iron out should be four iron Graphic shows you the back-to-back -back wins that Fleetwood had here at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. Also a runner-up in 2020. And that iron shot comes up short left in the bunker. Amazing the distance. A couple of yards can make. Two yards right there. That's about 10 feet from the flag for Eagle. It's so annoying when you're playing. Fleetwood out of the bunker. Got a good lie, but very difficult shot. He thought he was on the green. Very surprised he's in here. Get it? He did. Just about. It was very unlucky, Jamie. As, as Sam said, he'd been a couple of yards to the right, he would have scuffled under the green. Yeah, but he couldn't have done it any better than that shot, Ken, either, in the bunker. That was beautiful. Yeah, it should be off the left, Ken. I think all three players are very surprised that their balls weren't sort of further down the green or on the green. Pretty soft in the front here. You wouldn't think it would be, but it's quite sandy. It grabs it. Fleetwood for the birdie. Just off the left. Tommy Fleetwood didn't see the break that Jamie did. Loses that one off to the right. Well, long's better than short. That's pretty obvious. It's quite narrow at the front, so there's a bit of a bank behind this flag, so I think he might just go up and just pitch one down there. Looks like an eight. Jamie. Yeah, that looks like the shot, doesn't it? Good balance. Pulled it. It's okay, though. Anywhere on the dance floor, he would do. Yeah, Flea was at every green, isn't he? Remember him missing a green or chipping at all? So he has it in all, Jamie. It's been a great ball striking yeah. round for Fleetwood. Superb. Left to right here for Fleetwood. And that's run on by as well. It was softer, it may have gone in. But it's Uphill, little slow this putt. Yes, well done. He's holed out nicely as well. Hold a few putts from that sort of four, three, four, five foot range. This is looking like a complete. Now, has Tommy got the driver? He's got a, a thing with an iron head on it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a driver for him because uh, with that shape, I just think it'd have to start it out over the water. So he can hit an iron and a. Eight iron to this green, no problem. Bunker down the left hand side is what I'd be aiming at. That's about the 270 to reach that. Ball went in that sprinkler, so he's dropping it out. Yeah. Wonder where it was and I walked down there. Good room, yeah. It was as well. well it's a real deep, deep spring. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a big one. <laughs> He's got 182 it's yards in here. That's the great thing about this course. It gives you options, but then it poses a question on the next one if you lay up. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but the pin's cut on the left. Short, there's a swell that swings it left as well. So he's really got to keep this right of the pin, Fleetwood, once it gets over it. Wind off the right. Great sound. Oh, this strike. That's another beauty. Oh, it's just running on, unfortunately. A little unlucky. Yeah, you want to get it to the hole, but good round of golf today. Four under par. Has to go five, but two putts is good. Good day's work. Really, what he wanted on the last green. It's been flawless all day. Tommy Fleetwood. Not missed a green today. Not missed. A, well, I don't think he's missed a fairway either. His driving has been outstanding, isn't it? Absolutely outstanding. Fleetwood for his par. Tommy Fleetwood down the slope. Not easy this one. Not much break in it. Well done, what a great round of golf.
Superb driving, some quality irons, hasn't missed a green. It's holed out absolutely beautifully from short range. 68, two halves of 34, excellent stuff. What a way to start the week. Exhibition stuff from uh, this man yesterday, hit all 18 greens in regulation. It doesn't always mean it's down the middle, but this one is a wonderful strike from Tommy. Now that wonderful win down in South Africa at the Nedbank Golf Challenge at the back end of last year. That was a real injection of confidence for Tommy. It's pretty hard to hit a bad shot with this method. Tick tock, three quarters on the way back and the same on the way through. It's like a big grandfather clock. Ball slightly above his feet. Yeah, so that is poor as you'd expect from Tommy there. It was a perfectly good shot. Birdie chance to come at the first for Fleetwood. Two bunkers up the right-hand side and thick stuff left. Off the tee, this golf course is quite wide, but this one, it bottlenecks up there where the bunkers are, so you need to thread the needle. Not happy with it. Lost it a little bit to the right. Yeah, indeed he has. Well, par five, he should still be able to get on there in three, but that's a loose one. Remember, Tommy Fleetwood's had to lay out at the second. Yeah, really good use of the contours there, isn't it, from uh, Fleetwood. For a birdie from 30 feet, straight up the hill. He's got a good look at this. A mistake off the tee. So that's just going to be a par for Tommy Fleetwood. A fantastic group, this today. They all play the game so very differently. That's what golf's all about. Get it around. Looks like he's a little bit tight down the left side here. Oh, no, he's faded it beautifully back into the fairway. All these threes, right, I'll say they're a great group. They've all won six times on the DP World Tour. 165 with that flag over there on the left-hand side. I normally likes a pin on the left. Yeah, they're all leering on caution a little bit, aren't they? That was a, a loose one from Fleetwood. Down the hill. It's a little flat spot here, and then it's up the hill. Never hit it. What a mistake from Tommy. That's a shock. I must have got the putter caught in his trouser leg or something on the way back. That's just switched off. That was the first part that was to blame that. Two in a row. Yeah, a concentration lapse there from Fleet. We didn't see that very often. Being there, Tom. Thanks. will be that. Tony, especially if he keeps throwing down shots like that. Very nice at the fourth. After the three putt bogey. Yeah, he should be pretty angry with himself for that. So it's a nice response. It's the 32nd birthday for Tommy Fleetwood. Good friends, he and uh, Shane Lowry. An outside chance with the little competing slopes here, but Birdie nonetheless. 10 feet or so to get to five under car, under the card, I should say. Either way, it didn't drop. Back on the tee, Fleetwood. Oh, no. <laughs> Just the fairway medal. Not overly enamoured with it. Well, he's just hit the old pop-up. He's going to have, well, a 
quick look, he's going to have 160, 70 yards to quite a short par four. Yes, it really does surprise me to lay it this far back. I mean, the wind's into straight out of the right hand side, more out of the right than it is into, but. So he's laid it up and, and, and he's left it way right with the flag way right. Go figure. This is so far back. This is a seven iron riding the breeze. I don't think he can take this flag on. I think as good as he can do would probably be 15, 16 feet left of it, which would be more than acceptable. Yeah, that's in three putt territory again, isn't it? Not quite going Tommy's way at the moment. Another putt from length for Tommy Fleetwood. Well, fortunately, the pace was a little bit better. Just had his head on sideways, I think. Just an eight iron. A couple of little tweaky ones from Tommy, just turning the ball over right to left, a few of these early shots. Birthday boy yesterday. We see Fleetwood taking uh, the flat stick from short of the green on six. Good lesson for us all that. If you can, get the putter on it. Limit the danger, no need to rely on a bounce or the, gr the right strike off the wedge. Yeah. All the pros, as soon as you can get the putter in your hand, pretty much they, they grab it as soon as they can. <laughs> Keen eye on the top of the leaderboard for Fleetwood as well. And just at four under, needs to make some progress. Well, Tommy Fleetwood here. He's gripped down an inch or two on every club. Works for him though, not short of power. This one turning on the wind, however. Ooh, a rare wide from Tommy Fleetwood. Well, maybe got that one out the toe of the club as well, dropped it underneath. About as bad as we've seen from Tommy in, well, five rounds of golf this year. Has he found something? This looks horrible. Absolutely. Hack time. He's done very well to advance it that far. That was like playing out of his own hair. That was down deep. I <laughs> like that one, Wayne. Playing out of your own hair. Well, he got it out, and he's back in shape, so there'll be a shortish iron to this par five. You never know. Look at that holding firm with the left wrist. It is definitely two-put territory for Tommy here. Picking up in pace, edging towards 12. Not quite there yet. It certainly will be by Sunday. Enough to get your attention, though. on this for the power of Fleetwood but he's up to the task yeah can't complain at that after the tee shot it could have been worse than it was to be fair it could have been unplayable in that hay he's hit some skew whiff shots today as Tommy Fleetwood and another and another very well it's a poor shot isn't it There's nothing to, nothing you can say about that that is not a good golf shot the swing is no different it's just a different day the nuance of golf one day you've got it the next you haven't they do such a marvelous job here hsbc all of the partners in the abw hsbc championship making it feel like a, a top class event our first rolex series event of the year tommy fleetwood's birdie putt up and over the ridge at eight One of the skills of a top player is riding out when it's not quite there. It's fractions out, it's not miles out. Fleetwood last to go once he got in hand. And maybe a sign of Tommy not quite feeling it, going for the eye and make that fairway as wide as possible. And he finds it. Give himself a little bit more work to do with the second, though. One hundred and ninety three yards with the wind humming out of the right hand side. It is humming now. 
three yeah. under I called oh, early think. doors when we didn't think the wind was going to get up, but I feel as though two has got a great opportunity now. Yeah, Tommy just not feeling it at the moment, is he? He's not letting that way too far, really. It's a tough shot, and you know he's going to pay the penalty in the hazard or the penalty area. Tommy Fleetwood into the penalty area here at nine, so now playing his fourth. Yeah, he didn't even go down and have a look in the ice plant. He didn't even think about going down there. That ice plant is brutal stuff. It's like playing out of a mop. And that, that's really heavy-handed as well. Making a little bit of a mess of this one, Tommy Fleetwood. Only takes a couple of blades of grass to get stuck between that face and the club. Or the face and the ball, sorry. Takes some of that spin off, doesn't have the check on that first bounce. Mm, up the hill. Right to left, and it might just want to straighten at the hole. Two gone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Double bogey, six for Fleetwood. He's back to two under, which is the cut line. So slightly out of the right, how close did he can get? If he nails it down out of the right with the breeze, he can get within 70 of it. Well, a big back nine required for Tommy Fleetwood to turn around in form after that double bogey at nine. He's uh, slipped to two under. He needs a, a decent homeward journey to make it through to the weekend. A former two-time Abu Dhabi champion, Thomas Peters, the same. Shane Lowry trying to make an impression on the leaders. Hands forward, a nice lie. He's only got 64 yards, so he'll get this turning the toe in. Not a long backswing and just a little forearm jolt and try to release this. Yeah, that's beautifully played, isn't it? You can see it a bit dusty on that bit there. I think that's where the carts go across the fairway, and he's controlled that to perfection. Just needs when you're playing badly, one good drive like he just hit can just make you feel, oh, okay, that that feels good, and away you go again. As you said, Laura, be a lovely response to that disappointing six or nine, and he makes it. Sign of a class player right there. drive the ball badly you, you tend to steer it and hope and guide it down there and when you fully commit to it it can make a seriously big change in your swing wind out of the right would help not happy with this one right up out of the bunker can you believe that that's a lucky break maybe it's just starting to turn for tommy and a nice lie on the top of it as well a cracking break for tommy fleetwood the lie is really good it's on a down slope and you can use your imagination from this kind of predicament. 258, this thing will come in hot and low. Wind out of the right with hell. Bunkers left and right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah, not a bad leave there from Tommy. Got away with it because otherwise he was eating a sandwich out of that bunker. So should be pleased with the luck he's had down here. Got a good break off the tee, but he took full advantage. He goes to four under and just above the cut line now, which is always where you want to be. Tommy found the bunker off the tee on the 12. He doesn't want to get cute with his howler. He'll come up shy and it'll come back towards him. And that's where you get down into a dell where it's so easy to three whack it. This is reminiscent of nine. Yeah, staring a double in the face again there. If it goes wrong with the next one. And his birdie, Tommy. Just bring it in from the right hand side. Hmm. Six feet for his bogey. Double green here. 12 on the left hand side, 15 over on the right. And Tommy Fleetwood, remember, this is for a bogey five. Well, good putt there. Yeah, it was a good putt there. I kind of made a mess of that hole all the way along, but tied it up pretty well. Okay, Tommy, you need good things to happen. 
just 129. It's not a big wedge. Little elevation change. Ever so gently down. A few yards, that's all. Well, it's just not feeling it, is he? He made that little run. Had those couple of birdies, but it just doesn't look right for Tommy at the moment. He needs to find something. Though. He's got to get that up and down. He doesn't need another bogey. He's working really hard out there. It's not really going his way at the moment, but that's a good up and down from the green side bunker at 13. The wind is down out of the right-hand side. A couple of deep bunkers down the right. Nothing on the left, but if you find this fairway, if you can, by holding it off with this club, holding it against it, it's a birdie hole. It's just a nudge with your second. Oh, it's a strange choice off the tee. You'd Good spot say. now. In the bunker. Green, front left, green side bunker. Very strange choice. On a downslope, too, he's been a little unlucky with this. It was perfect for a chunk and run, so we might send it and land it 20 feet short of it coming on this downslope and just play a releaser up there. Don't get me wrong, it's not difficult. It was a good, brave tee shot. Good shot, that. It, it was. He's done exactly as you said. And just got it out, let momentum take it up towards the hole. It's a bit of a sh shock when you turn the corner and you go back with the wind into off the left. It just highlights the importance of 13 and 14. It does. We will find Fleetwood. There's some, some of sort of pot to Lowry there, really, a bit high. Never really getting that one on the right line. Confusing them, that one. You know, the players in the clubhouse at two under starting to get a little bit nervous now. It's... Wind out of the left hand side. You couldn't walk down there and place it in a better spot. <laughs> Where Peter's hit it. With the wind out of the left, it sets up awkwardly this t shirt. Yes. The rough juts out severely down there at 290 and finishes at 330. Even away from the hole all the time, Fleetwood found the fairway. Three in the park. Another pure line. So many of them around here. Yeah, Corey Finn, the superintendent, did just a sensational job in this golf course. A lot of the fescue has grown up, the, the rough quite lush as well in this edition. Yeah, poor shot in. Was scared of missing it right, overdid it, overly cautious. Could make amends, but not quite. Where are your chances in the last four? Well, if the wind's dropping, of course, 18 is a par five, but it's fraught with danger. And I'd probably say this one with a, a forward tee, 16 and 17, are not the easiest holes by any means. Just behind, it's very, very difficult to muster up enough courage to hit three. Well, there's a bunker down there lurking in the middle of the fairway. You can go right or go left of it. And these guys are just laying it back. Yeah, that's a long way back. This is such a great hole, hugging the foreshore. I needed off of that tee there. Now he started this one far enough right. Yeah, just came in with a, a more normal trajectory, didn't it? The Migliozzi's <laughs> really took the bull by the horns and drove it in low. Fleetwood, a little bit more standard. Plenty of draw spin. Always fighting the draw spin. He does it well. Tommy Fleetwood makes his par there at 16. Stays three under. I'm sure you guys have said it recently. You've said it a couple of times today. You would want to be three under in this scenario. Back over to 17. Tommy Fleetwood. It's 11 birdies today on the uh, 17th. Hardest hole on the course. The Fortinet stats for you. Good chance here for Tommy Fleetwood. Yeah, 
he's also battled hard. He's just hanging on. Can't afford a mistake at the last, but uh, he's done well, really, because his game was in a bit of a shambles around the turn, but he's turned it round. Oh, I like the bailout today. I'm having nothing of that uh, left-hand wing penalty area down there. I just like the bailout. Play it as a three-shotter. I don't think you can reach in two in if you knuckle one down the left, which is the shortest route. Shot, Tom. Thanks. Just like that. 301 taking this shot on, and rightly so. How is he going to play it? I don't think he'll hit it down the left hand wing and cover that penalty area. I think he, he won't hit a power draw. But if he nails this, he could come up short in those bunkers. Over on the right, leads for a nasty, a nasty yardage of 70. Well, he's bailed out a bit. He's bailed out quite a lot. Range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a great choice. Just as long as the back of the club where the bounce is situated just doesn't dig its toes in, all of a sudden you knife it. 109. Oh, sit. Sit. Get down. You could hear how anxious he was with that. I think the fear with a lot of those is that for some reason you're going to bury the leading edge in and you, it's almost impossible to do that. Six one half a dozen, back into the draft. Pretty basic bunker shot, this. Shouldn't be an issue. Tommy, on over par, flawless yesterday, didn't quite go his way today, but safely through to the weekend and he'll get out early in the morning, he'll put a low one on the board. was alluding to it's uh, there's not much to hit up there where this flag is uh, looks pretty benign on the TV but um, I think you've got to pitch it a few yards past this pin but there is a bunker lurking just over the slope the other side so demanding little pitch shot from 90 odd yards for Fleetwood 91 to be precise the ball slightly above his feet so go down the gr grip a bit here for Fleetwood and you saw Fleetwood has a two-time Rolex Series winner, two-time winner here at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship. Uh oh, down the staircase, the marble staircase, nipped too well. An awkward two putt. Decent gallery this time of the morning. Starting out this group, I think it'll get bigger. So he's up this slope, left to right. Can he get the speed? The first part there from Fleetwood. It's a good tap in par. All three of them pars. So, no problems. Par five coming up. Getting the round underway. Really want to get under par as soon as you can. It's Driver for Fleetwood. Slightly down breeze. There's a little bit of breeze behind him. Awfully with great pin here right at the back and a little ledge, so imperative to hit the middle of the fairway here. Whoa! It's it, that's right, it doesn't want to get the thick stuff. Oh dear. It did bounce, but what it bounced into, we don't know. Poor one from Tommy. So desperate start for him. I'm thinking eagle on the tee or you know, definite birdie and here he's playing three from the cabbage. It's very unlucky. Oh, there's some thick grass just off the uh, off the fairway here, but it was on a downslope as well. I just couldn't see any way in it. And, and this option isn't great. You might be able to chase this on the green, two part five, and sort of limit the damage, really. But uh, this is not easy from here. Good contact. Is 
there and three up and down for his par. Obviously not what he wanted. Fleetwood, can he get it on the back to a little low grabby one? Go on, chase up. Yeah, beautifully played, absolutely exquisite. There for four, that for his par five. Very wise decision, the decision he made not to give it a cuff. Now this has got to be straight, Catalyst didn't do anything rolling up that bank, so looks straight to me. It was, Jimmy, he misread it. Pushed it one or the other. Tee shot, we just didn't quite commit. He needs full commitment here, in it down the left hand side. Watching it anxiously. Oh, there's a rear right again, two in a row. You have to wonder with the wind behind at the third if driver was the play. He's got 158 yards, ball sitting on top of the Bermuda, but if this jumps, it's it's a difficult shot from Tommy. All you can see is the top of the flag. I think he might just be a little bit cautious, but of course they want to get that shot back straight away. Oh, it's come out soft, and that'll be a long, very difficult putt for Tommy Fleetwood. Poor start for him. Starting at three under, he would still have uh, aspirations of getting close to the title, won it twice before. Just a little gentle right to left all the way here for Tommy. Great camera angle, started it straight. Wanna go way right. Went the other oh, way, oh, Sam. It's not stopped yet. Oh, it has now. I thought it was going past fast. No, you were dead right, it was off the left. He, he started that right of the hole. No, I read it right of the hole as well. I, d I thought you said just a bit <laughs> off the left. <laughs> I got that wrong. Bogey the second. He doesn't want to make another one. Come on, Tommy. Well done. Well done. So far today, not a single birdie on this hole, Jamie. Not surprised with this flag, Kenny. Yeah, if it was left, it's very awkward to get up and down in the, the hollow. Doesn't look spectacular, that's pretty good, I think. I think that's, a, that's a play I would play for, Jamie. Well, anything short left, it's going to come down front, and anything left of this pin is gone, and as Ken said, it's nothing down there. That's a smart play from Fleetwood, if you turn it off that line, all well and good. Come on, come on. That was right on line, if it would have held this line, had it had enough pace. With that whole location, three is a very good score at the fourth today. Fairway metal for Fleetwood. Just playing for position. Breeze off the left. He's not getting through it, is he? No, that's a few to the right off the tee, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a good kick. It's back on the fairway. Yeah, yeah. The hole you'd really like to attack, but I don't see how he can when he's sort of all everything's against him here. Ian Finnis is about seven foot tall and he can't see the pin. <laughs> Just got to be very wary of not coming up short here. He's pushed it again, I think. Oh, stay no, it's going to go off. Might not be too bad if it stays. Doesn't want to keep going then put left hand down. This pest pelham is quite sticky. You've got to give it a good beat to get it up there. And of course, you go to the faster putting surface. It's not easy to judge. Pretty well judged. It's sort of gathering to the left. Just been a little scrappy so far from Mr. Fleetwood. A little scrappy. Oh, it's got scrappy out. Needs a good one here, Fleetwood. I think he's got it. Yeah, 
That is the perfect spot. You're just up that right-hand side, it gives you a much easier entry to a very tough pin on the left side of the six. 169 for Fleetwood, eight iron. Needs to get it going, Jamie. Couple over. It's moving day. Unfortunately, there's two directions you can move in. I think they were quite generous with the pins on the first two days, but it's time for the grown ups today. Good speed from Tommy, but wrong line. Uh, Fleetwood just cleaning up here. We hope. Well done. So two over today. He'll be very disappointed with that start. When you see it, two bogeys. Good drive on the last of Fleetwood. I think if you're just sort of going through his practice routine, first three or four holes, it just needs to look at the target and swing through it. He wasn't quite getting through the ball early on today. There's a little left, but it's just going to be okay. Still in the first cut of rough. Couple over today, he'd love to knock this on the green, give himself a chance of eagle. Oh, it needs a good kick. No, bunker. Let's see what he's got left there. Do you know what? Just if a stand. normal stance, Sam, it'd be pretty easy, but it's a good line. Try and pop it up onto the flat and hope. Say four out of ten, it's now none out of ten. It's missed the green, and that'll hurt. Well, Fleetwood had the wedge out, but it's very difficult to know what they're going to do when it first bounces on this apron grass. He's got the putter. Come on, ball, where are you? There it is. <coughs> Sit down. Sit down. <coughs> Just once it gets. Sliding down the slope, it just doesn't stop running. Huge pot for Tommy. He's already two over on the day. Well done, Tommy. He'll keep trying to the bitter end. Well, I think it's seven iron for Tommy. I just don't think eight will pitch up there on that top. You've got to pitch it all the way here if you want to get it close. No, that was the eight. That's basically it, isn't it? Let's stop. It'll, another yard on that, and that's going to join his playing partner in the little hollow. You think this part of Fleetwoods would go left or right? But I don't think it does. It's early on, there's a little bit of right to left in it. from Fleetwood. Not an easy read, as Jamie said, but fantastic pace and easy tap in par three at the eighth hole for Fleetwood. It was two over par through eight holes in his third round. Big bunker down the right hand side, 290 to carry that. Not worth it today. About 280, a little bit further left to carry a shorter distance there on that bunker. So that'd be the line for Tommy. Always going to have a crack. You know it's your, not your day when you drive it straight down the middle at a difficult hole and it's in a seeded divot, which this one is, on the sand. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, it's firm. Got it well back in the stands, Jimmy. Make sure he gets ball first. He's laying it up, maybe. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. Beautiful shot from Tommy Fleetwood. Bit straighter this one, Sam, I think. A little bit further to the left. I don't think it'll turn as much. I think he doesn't want to leave the hole here, Fleetwood. Ah, here comes Fleetwood. That's better, Tommy. Two under, one over for the day. 
He did, just gave Jamie Spence back the lucky marker before that putt. Options off this tee. Breeze into off the left what there is, which there isn't a huge amount. Go with a long iron, you can go with a fairway wood, or you can go with a driver, depending what you fancy. Put in the spot, not seen it before. 11 on four from the left, so very tight to the left of the green. Poor one from Fleetwood, three wood for position. Fleetwood drove it in the left rough, played a second to this position, playing away from the bunker, which is guarding this left hole location at 10. This is about his maximum distance, maybe another six feet away where he uses the claw grip. Otherwise he resorts to the conventional grip. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, this back nine holes, if you're struggling with your driver, this is not easy. Just hold it into the breeze. You've got to trust your swing, pick your line, and what shape you're going to hit it. That looked better, but he's still okay. watching it. It's down the left. Missed the trap. No, dearie me. For someone that drove it so well during the first two days. He's having a tough day today, Tommy. And Jamie watched him warm up. Jamie said he didn't miss a shot on the range warming up. And it's a silly game. You just never know what you're going to get till you get out there. Caught that fat and pulled it away left, I think. Oh, he's lucky. He's okay. Not easy. Pull over in the back right. 26 on. It's a nice gentle one. He seemed to be a bit disgruntled there. Yeah, it's just not happening for Fleetwood. I don't know what he did between the range and the first tee, but it wasn't conducive to his golf. The opposite side would give a much better angle to the flag. Uh, Fleetwood on 11. Can he get it? Oh, no, it's short again, right in the middle. And it's not your day. It's not your day. So seven holes to go. And three birdies and an eagle. Driver for Fleetwood. It's better. Struggle with his driving today. Very rare for Tommy Fleetwood, no one a beautiful driver of the ball. There's something out of sync, just a fraction. It's amazing how little it can, needs to be to be erratic in this great game. Fleetwood, a couple over par for the day. Can he do something special to turn things around? It's a good position here to start something better. Right at it, good shot. It's come up a little bit short, it's only 12, 14 feet. Well, from Fleetwood, Tommy Fleetwood. No. He's having one of those days that... Uh, not really got the ball running for him. <laughs> Certainly setting up for a draw here, Sam. I think he's going to try and work one in there. Well, not everyone is having a hard day, that's for sure. Connor Syme, who started his third round with a bogey at the reasonably easy par four first hole, is now seven under on the day, having just picked up a birdie at 16. Good first to go on 13, across the green. Oh, has he got one? Come, Come on. on. Oh, yeah. oh, Tommy Fleetwood. Hip, hip, hooray. That's better. Watch this. Smoking low driller. Go on, my son. Sounded sweet. Looks like it's on the fairway. Fleetwood 
second to 14. Going for three birdies in a row, or is it an eagle? That that's for two in a row. Let's go up to a 15, see the tee shot. Both Fantrill and Catlin are down in the hollow left of the fairway. Fleetwood nicely right in the middle. Huge advantage for Fleetwood coming in from this right side. You can see where the flag is in the distance. Tuck. Very tight left. Manufactures something here. Lovely angle to the pin. Ah, that's a beauty, absolute beauty. Squeeze it between the bunker and the flag. Great chance of a birdie. Now, what you're saying to your mind here, what pace am I going to hit this? Which will give you the most, best possible percentage of holding it. I need a great touch just to die this one. It just needs a little bit of pace, but it's glassy, very swift. Touch firmer or touch right. Would have been perfect, just caught the edge. Frustrating when you've hit such a good second shot. You've taken on the danger of that bunker just to the right and then don't convert. That's nice. A little low runner out there. Fleetwood birdie two out of the last three, fighting his way back to even par on the day. Can he attack this hole? It's cut over on the left side. So easy to, with the wing coming in your face and on the left a little bit to leave it out to the right. He does, but reasonable birdie putt coming. Long one across the green for Fleetwood. Down to level. Yes, yes. Good effort, not quite. Even power on his day for the great Tommy Fleetwood. Would have been one of the uh, pre-tournament favorites. Just hasn't been his day. Even par through 16 holes with a birdie putt here at his penultimate hole. Right edge or just outside if you're going to hit it at a slowish pace. Deserves it. Oh, no. Only a par at 17 for Fleetwood. He remains even on the day, three under for the championship. Fleetwood on the final hole. 646 yards. Long par five. Something of that nature for Fleetwood playing his second. All three players laying up at the final hole. Big deep greens, 50 yards deep with the flag on 12 and number 18 today. Front rightish. Not been Fleetwood's day. Level par. Yeah, those early missed drives that uh, sort of set him back, lost a bit of confidence off the tee, gathered himself together. Oh, the story of his day. Nothing happened on the greens, one or two errant tee shots, some good irons, and never really got anything going at all. Frustrating, 37, 35, 72. OK, but tough day at the office. Multiple Rolex Series winner, Fleetwood, currently ranked number 24 in the world. Yes, the other half of Mollywood's <coughs> leading the event. Should just about miss the bunker here, I think. That's perfect. Tear shot from Tommy. Seventy-five yards for Fleetwood middle of the fairway as you come to expect it's quite 
comprehensible little, this little pitch. Pretty well done. Sort of skiddy bounce. Just hit a little crown on the green there. Well, Tommy said he's going to go low today. That's what he said. It's be a good start. Stay up. So close. Right. When you're as good as he is, you have to be thinking that every day. And we'll go low. Now, Tommy did not hit a good tee shot here yesterday. He hit it way right. I'm sure he's eradicated that from his mind. So much room down the left here on two. That one was never going right. That's the new, new bat. Yeah. If you get it on the top of the hill there, it's definitely in range. As I say, you're hitting this sort of a knuckle where the flag is cut. 198 for Tommy, six iron. Lovely balance. Use no good sign. Oh, it's just a club too much. A little bit of testing putt for his eagle. Yeah, he was right in between clubs there, Fleetwood. I think just a bit short, better. Not an easy putt this for Tommy. At least he can be fairly aggressive with it. And if he knocks it past the hole, not too bad. Got it. Oh, what a marvellous effort. Beautiful touch, so sweetly struck. There's a beautiful lagoon that fronts both the front nine and the back nine here at Yaz Links. Fleetwood taps in for his birdie. Never start them yesterday for Tommy. One under after two. Do you know what? He can carry that bunker with his club. I know it's a little bit more risky, but. If you're going to take it on and shoot a low score, I like this play today. Yeah, it's payday. I've not come out here to watch him lay up, so... No. Sit down, keep turning. Go on, that's, lovely. that's perfect. Lovely tee shot. Even the fairways, the ball doesn't bobble either. Yeah, Tommy's just a slight downhill line, so he should drive in a little bit lower with his 54 degree here. He's got a slightly favour the right of the hole, kicks in from there. Just looking at all the wedges. Jamie was saying he's got four wedges. When Ian Woosden won the one, the Masters, his most yeah. lofty club is 52 degrees. Is that right? Downhill part, quick. But right to left, it's just a gentle drifter the whole way down the screen. It's it two beautiful putts on the first and the second that have grazed the hole. This is looking sweet. It's, oh, it's straightening. Superb effort. It's just a stretch for the eight, this for Fleetwood, I think, into this little bit of breeze. Lovely swing, just hear him saying, hold your line, touch left, maybe. Oh, touch right. Carried it too far. That should be in the bunker. Yeah, I think it is. In that bunker, that's going to be difficult. Fleetwood in the right bunker at the par three fourth. Good lie. Not a difficult shot, actually. This got quite a flat area to pitch it into, so expect him to get it close here. Six out of ten. Yeah, he'd be disappointed with that, Sam. He's a lot better than that, isn't he, Jamie? Yep. Trying to hold it, I think. We saw a reasonable shot out of the bunker for Fleetwood. Looks to be a fairly straightforward par putt. And he's parred the fourth as well. Good putt, good save. It looks like he's more lofted wood, I'd say, from here. No, he's done it again. No, he's fine, Jamie, at the middle of the fairway. Yeah, but he can't it's see the pin, Sam. Oh, I see. And he was here yesterday, Fleetwood, and he came up short. 
and struggled. So it's just a case of trust in your feel. In the distance control here from 155 for Tommy Fleetwood. It's slightly down breeze. Might pummel a wedge. I think it's a chip with a nine. Yes, beautiful. Has he got it? Oh, unlucky. Good try. As Jamie says, watch this. It just keeps trickling. Keeps trickling. It's OK. Ooh. Isn't going to roll much further. It gets into horrible scrubby stuff. Yes, Ian Finnis and Tommy are a little bit perplexed by that. They hit a good shot there. Pitched quite well short of the pin and they can't believe it's down there. Such a tough shot from that lower level behind the green at the fifth. Putting himself under pressure though with the putter the way he's not really hit it close at all today. He's missed a few greens already. Having to make a few of these a pass. Well done. This keeps these only one under for the day, but it's a lot better than level. When Fleetwood completes his swing and keeps that rhythm, that's when he drives the ball the best, gets into that full follow through. Watching it a little anxiously. And it's up the right too. Now, Tommy's looks worse, but he can get into the back of it. It's just a case of the club will snag on the way through, so this could snag left for Fleetwood. Same distance as Catlin. No, he's just chipping it out. Could take risk injury there, couldn't you guys, if you try too much? Sometimes you just got to take your punishment. Jamie, put it back into the perfect spot, probably 80 yards, good chance of getting up and down for par. Just a little pitch for Fleetwood. Come on, it's got to back up a bit. Oh, stay there, there's this bridge there. Unlucky. Oh, no, it was really, that was your fault, maybe. Is that me? You said back it up, back it up. <laughs> uh, Fleetwood. For part. Oh, it's come back. Oh, dearie, dearie me, that just did everything but go in. It looked like it was missing right. How can it finish there? Oh, it's an annoying game at times, isn't it? Flick was quite well left here, you see. He almost went in the thick stuff. That looks perfect. Flick with the wood, three yards closer. Must be left here with this pin. Okay. Good line. Oh, don't get cobbled up. Don't get cobbled up in the hollow. Oh, man. Quite often that just trickles like going over the back of the ring just into the fluffy rough where every man and his dog's been. End up in a divot. Fleetwood's going to go first. Yeah, he's got a chance, but this is no easy either. He's got a, a real softy and just landed on the edge of the green, but good job he got a good lie here. There's a few divots there that he's avoided. <laughs> well, even from a good lie, that was very difficult. Uh, this has got to be right to left as well, Kenny. But I think the way he was walking up and down this line, Fleetwood, uphill. Dead straight, never missing. Great putt from Fleetwood. He gets himself under par, one under for the day. Fleetwood ready to go. I kind of think he's got nine in his hand. He's long, Tommy. I mean, he hit eight yesterday, and that was 183. It's 10 yards nice. less. For the three, that's a good job. That was definitely the right one. Two beauties, two great chances. It's easy to be low side here. Keep, try and keep it top side. 
dead weight, it will break. Quite a bit of break here for Fleetwood. Uphill, downhill. Downhill. Called it perfectly, Jamie. He's holding some par putts, Fleetwood, but not many birdie ones over the last few days. Been with him three times now. This is a driver over the lagoon. Have to take this down the right. That's okay. Good drive from Fleetwood on the short stuff. Perfect spot for Fleetwood. Great angle right behind it. Is it on line? <coughs> mm, saying go right, maybe a touch left. No, it is right. It's gone right, he said, maybe. That's okay, though. Birdie part for Fleetwood here on nine. Left to right up this bank. He's just not hitting it close enough, Fleetwood, with his irons. That'll be his focus for next week. Tough to hold these all the time. Fleetwood tapping in for his bar. And Fleetwood, two birdies, one bogey. off at uh, 10 minutes to 12 uh, just under an hour from now he's got to go low he could go high I mean yeah, modern player tends to knock it up in the air could got a choice of shots here really from a good lie just off the upslope here so he's got choices it's gone low it's gone the right way whichever he throws it was the right way very good shot from Fleetwood This one, Fleetwood down the hill. Warm round of applause for Tommy Fleetwood. Well played, hole. Yeah. Yeah. 173 ball speed for Crocker with the three wood, 169 for Fleetwood with the driver. Glad he didn't hit it past him, he'd have been in the bunker. Fleetwood, Jamie. Yeah, 235 down the breeze. Five iron. Won't be any more than that. Might be a six. He's eyeing it up. Catch the sprinklers, might stop it. No, just dodge them. Over the back. Just gone into the rough. Not too difficult from there, though. And not easy. Fluffy lie as well for Fleetwood here. But this is just on the strike. It's all downhill. Just a little bit of right to left. It looks like he's going to try and play like a parachute shot here. Play like a bunker shot, a mini one. So he fluffed it, but he certainly didn't get the contact he was expecting on the upslope. Just didn't quite get through it and pop it forward. So now he's got to putt down the green for the fall. He will be fuming if he doesn't make birdie here. There's no pictures on the scorecard, Jamie. And it goes for the four. What a great putt. Back to back birdies. driver for Tommy. Is he going to take that bunker on? This one definitely down the middle. No, I thought it would come back left, it didn't. 
120. There is another little slope behind this pin as well, so you've really got to be spot on. It really tests you, this Yas Links. Not too bad from Fleetwood. Must have looked good to him. Just comes up a little bit short. Good chance. Apologies for losing the picture there momentarily, but it was a good shot worth waiting for for Fleetwood. He's got a chance. Go on, run it out. Oh, just lacking a little bit in pace. Hold a couple of nice putts in the last oh, hour or so. It's going to be great to watch him finish, see if he can come up with a few more birdies, get a bit of confidence. through just trying to nudge it forward to skip it up the little edge what a nice bounce go on run it out not a chance of a birdie for Fleetwood wouldn't this be nice just outside the hole on the right just a bit a little bit go on needed hitting doesn't quite seem to have the feel, the pace of the greens. He's been around the hole quite a bit, just not quite holding pace. Well, describe what he's got to do here to get it on the green. Uh, he, he's got to hit a long way. It's the, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's the big cross bunker in front of the green that's the issue. I think he can carry that, but I'd hit it on our TV tower, which is left of the green. But it's doable, but it's narrow down there, bunkers everywhere. Hitting a bit right, I think. Might run along a little bit. Hard to tell where that's gone, but plummeted in. Awkward angle to the flag. Nearly. I would say it's in the bunker, is that right? It looked that way, yes. Yeah, Crocker as well. Fleetwood, 44 yard bunker shot. He's doing well to get inside that one. That was a class from Crocker. Be careful. Just okay. Just is it? Yes. There's a big steep bank once it topples over there. Oh. Fleetwood for Birdie. Not quite. He's a very accomplished show jumper, believe it or not. Is he really? He certainly is, and I ain't taking the mickey. It's a big horse. <laughs> must be a strong horse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's no jockey, was he? He's in good, no, he's in good shape, Dars. He's fit now. What a golfer, Sam. Oh, what a player. A bit more rhythmical, Fleetwood. Plays a little bit more within himself. I think he's got a bit more speed if he really wants it. into one of those holes you never know whether you're going to find a divot down there okay fleet with 187 uh, degrees right? down slope good lie though just about see the top of the flag on the left hand side here difficult to get it all the way Yeah, it was a tough shot there for Fleetwood down from down the left hand side. Now yeah, well, he threw it all the way up onto the top of that hill and let it release down. He did. It's gorgeous. Excellent shot from Fleetwood. The design of the golf course it gives you so many different choices. It, it, it sometimes it's like, okay, which way do I want to play it? And then you have to commit to whichever choice you make. After a delightful pitch, he made a very tricky pitch look easy coming right down the slope. Fleetwood to save his par. Well done. Knocked it in with confidence. A lot of speed in that putt for Fleetwood. He, like Crocker, remains three under on the day, both six under in total. 
And Fleetwood just laying up short of the bunker, I'd fancy, with this club not being tempted, Tommy. Such a wonderful golf course because you have so many different ways to play it. That's one of the things that I really love about Yaz Links. Jamie, a long way back for Fleetwood, 188. Isn't he just a slight downslope from the lie that help into the wind? This should help the trajectory, but you really want to hit a cut here. I think he likes it. Get close, it said. He said. Just caught the down slope there. A little, a little unlucky. Yeah, May come up. back from here, though. Here it comes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, yes. Well done. Well, we all knew it was the right thing to lay up off the tee. Yeah, great shot. Can you see any break in this plot for Fleetwood, Ken? You're a wizard on the greens. Uh, it was, those butts, putts seem to slow up at the hole size. It may be a little bit from right to left, but I'm, I am guessing that slightly. After a great approach, he certainly deserves a three. Can he trundle it in? It's not one you can take a dart out. Oh. Good read, Brandon. <coughs> Just went here right to left, as Ken said it would. Not a great flag for them, but you're right, Ken. I think you've got to try and hit a little chopper if you can, but tough shot here. <coughs> so that, that pin looks like it was placed by the insurance brokers. Because <laughs> the sponsors want it one. Something you will get away from him on the right hand side. A little bit of left to right. Got a chance as he hit it. No, he hasn't. Right in the middle. Ne nearly for Tommy Fleetwood this week. Keep your eyes out for him in the next few weeks. Yeah, follow that. Now Fleetwood down the same line. You might just step on this a little bit. Great ball, Tommy. Great ball, Tommy. Almost as good as yours. <laughs> Not quite, Tommy. It's almost as good as yours. But 30 yards behind it, I think. Slightly better life yeah, 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 for yeah. Tommy. 266. He just hit it right edge and just get a little bit of turn with the breeze. A bit of release. Could get it down to 25, 30 feet. Just a little bit of luck and a lot of skill. Too bad there. There's been another hole in one, we can tell you. Tyrrell Hatton started the back nine, par, birdie, birdie, and then hole in one at 13. Fleetwood's got the putter out. I thought he might chip one a bit like he did on 15, but uh, not so easy, actually, this one. So he's putting up a big bank. He'll throw it to the left. Well, in the group in front, Jamie, he went up the hill past the pin and came back down stone dead. Well, he didn't need to go up the hill. There you go. Wonderful shot from Tommy Fleetwood. I think today will give him a sort of glint of light with his putting. He held a few good putts today. That was a delightful touch. Now, good four, good two putt there from off the green. 68, 73, 72, 68. It's it's all there, but he's not quite putting it all together yet. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.